Dinner time. This is Patrick Hancock here with AbleGamers.com and this is my video preview of Minecraft. This game is still in its alpha stage. It's got a while until it's released. And I'm doing this to kind of just help you get an understanding of the game to supplement my article. And so you can see for yourself what it's like. So we'll start up a single player world. You get up to five when you buy the game. So we'll start a brand new one and I'll show you what it's like. So all these worlds are randomly generated. Everything you get will be completely unique to you. And that is part of the fun. So it just drops you into a world and you essentially just have to survive. That's kind of just the main goal, the main gist of it. There is no tutorial yet, so this will kind of act as part of that. So first we'll go over the controls. It essentially uses a first person shooter layout with WASD moving you around and the mouse to look. Left click will use whatever you're currently holding. Right now I have nothing but my hand, my blocky hand. And right click will place objects. So the kind of the backbone here of Minecraft is that all these squares are individual and you can break all of them by left clicking on them for a little bit and it'll break and it'll drop a little tiny version of itself as you can see right there. And you just walk over close to it and it'll pick it up and like I said right click will put them back on the ground. You can do whatever you want from it with uh, with this ability. If you want to shield yourself from this cactus or destroy it, you can put that there. And now that I have a cactus, I can put that wherever I want. I can make this one taller. Just don't get too close. So we've got the basic controls. You can always change them by going to options, controls, and changing any of the keyboard hotkeys. You cannot, as of now, change the mouse or use game pads, but there may be some third party programs out there like Joy2Key that could assist you. I have not tested them myself. So the other options we've got here, we've got music, sliders, sound, sensitivity, some graphics, and difficulty. If you keep it on the normal difficulty, which is what it defaults to, during the night, so once the sun goes down, there will be monsters coming out and they will try to get you. And at that point you either hope you have shelter already or are at least well equipped to the point where you can fight back. Fights with monsters can be frantic. You do have to not so much button mash but you have to click uh, pretty fast and at the same time you know maneuver the terrain so you don't get caught backing up into a wall and then the monster will get you. So there is some reflexes required and some precision when fighting monsters, but if you change the difficulty to peaceful, when night comes, there will be no monsters. You will not have to fight. And that way, you can just do things at your leisure, however you want. So that's a nice touch they added to the game that may help any gamers out there that need that. So that's the basic controls. As you can see, the graphics and the colors, more importantly, are pretty pretty vibrant. Every block has its own set of colors. There's very few red-green mishaps, so if you're red-green colorblind like myself, you won't have any troubles. I have not run into anything that I felt my colorblindness has hindered me. There is a new world called the Nether, which is kind of like the Underworld, and there is a lot of red and brown in there, so there may be troubles there, but it's brand new and hard to get to. Uh, you have to you have to mine some, some pretty rare stuff to get there, and at the same time, it's not required to play the game at all. It's completely optional. But keep that in the back of your mind. Deaf gamers will have a pretty big disadvantage when playing the game. Because livestock like these cows here will have sort of sound effects that they play when you're near them occasionally. Like the mooing. And monsters have similar attributes. 
where if, uh, if a skeleton or a zombie is near you, they'll make a specific sound so you can either get out of there as quickly as possible or prepare yourself. So deaf gamers will have to be at a disadvantage because as of now, there are no subtitles. And so... Hopefully that addresses most of your accessibility concerns. For anyone actually wondering what you do in this game, well hopefully you have the Minecraft wiki up at the same time as you're playing this because right now it just kind of plops you in the world and that's it. But basically what you want to start off with is finding a tree and start chopping down the lumber part of it, the tree trunks. This will be the beginning of the crafting system. So once you get a couple, a couple pieces of lumber, if you open up your inventory, you'll see this little crafting section. And if you put your lumber there, you can get some refined wood. Now that you've got this wood, you can place one in each square by right-clicking when holding it, and you'll get something called a workbench. And now this will be like the backbone of your entire your entire life as a Minecraftian. This workbench allows you to craft things with nine squares instead of just four. And I won't get too deep into it, but you're gonna need tools like a pickaxe, a sword, a hatchet, and stuff, so you can start doing what you need to do: build shelter, um, get torches for nighttime, and stuff like that. So once you've got all that, um, you can prepare yourself. And like I said, have the Minecraft wiki open. I won't go over everything here, so you can um, you can be pretty adept at crafting. So that's kind of the gist of it. I'll cut to I'll cut to nighttime, and I'll show you guys what nighttime is like, and we'll keep it on normal so I can give you guys an idea of what fighting is like in this game. Alright, let's let some time pass. Okay, so now it is night time. I've crafted some things. Here I have my sword. And I put a bunch of torches down. So hopefully when I demonstrate this battle, it'll be well lit so you can see it good enough. Alright, so... There's some zombies off in the distance I saw, so I'll lure them over here. So hopefully I can get a good demonstration going. Excuse the darkness while I get some zombies over here. Here we go. See if they can get up here, of course. Alright, so I'll lure them over here. So zombies are the most basic type of monster. They will just come at you. There he is. They will come at you relentlessly until you either kill them or escape, essentially. So, as you can see here, I'm just navigating the terrain. And so as he comes at me, what I want to do is just click, left click, and hit him. So he's, he basically can't get close enough. Every time I hit him, he'll go back a little bit. And I want to back up after I hit him. And there we go. He drops a feather which you can use in crafting. And so that was just a basic battle. Uh, quick and painless. It does require some some navigation, quick navigation of the terrain. And hopefully this has been a good video preview so you can judge for yourself what you your um if you can play Minecraft. And just what it's like in general. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully I will make more in the future. And enjoy Minecraft if you decide to pick it up. Alright. Hey, I said it's dinner time, mister.